Our approach extends procedural modeling methods to generate structurally feasible masonry buildings. Here, a procedural model is generated from a set of grammatical rules. Using our method, we can automatically find rule parameters that make the model structurally sound. The user can declare free parameters to be optimized. In this example, we optimize the height. Here we show a real-time capture of our optimization as it iteratively finds parameters. The ceiling is automatically lowered so the thin columns can resist outward forces from the arches. Now we fix the height and optimize the column width. And now we optimize height and column width simultaneously. The energy function of our optimization measures physical infeasibility. It indicates how far the model is from a statically stable configuration. This simple example shows the energy landscape of a two-parameter structure. From an infeasible starting point, our optimization walks the gradient to a stable configuration at the zero plane. In this example, we optimize a chapel model with three free parameters column depth of the windows, corner thickness of the main hall, and corner thickness of the entranceway. A second usage scenario is interactive editing of parameters. Here, the angle of the flying buttresses is optimized to make the structure stable. Next, the user decides to increase the span of the ceiling. Our system then automatically updates the buttress angle to maintain stability. A core motivation for stable models is for interaction in physically simulated environments. In this tower of stacked blocks, the structure is unstable and collapses. This stable structure was generated from a 20-parameter optimization that adjusted the horizontal position of each block. After a few ground shakes, the structure collapses. In this stacking arrangement, a 20% factor of safety was used. After small ground shakes, the structure settles back to a stable position. Larger perturbations cause the tower to collapse. Here, we visualize a stable structure collapsing after the user removes blocks from the model. In this simulation, the ground shakes and the structure collapses. And finally, a projectile is launched at an aqueduct. 